We'll see what you can see from Super Squid back in their squid -io. So, Animation Chronicle 2024 spoilers have finally arrived. And for those of you guys that are not aware, this is an anime-based archetype set from the OCG. They've been releasing a lot of anime-exclusive cards across the past 10, 15, 20 years of Yu-Gi-Oh! that were only in the anime, which is really, really nutty to think about. So in Animation Chronicle 2023, we actually got cards like the Earthbound support, we got the uh, Kaido Patera, we got Ashoka Pillar, so a bunch of really, really cool anime-only stuff. This seems to be a yearly thing, and this particularly caught my attention. Now, the new spoilers for Animation Chronicle 2024 actually includes a new hand trap. Yeah, this is a new hand trap that was actually used in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. I believe it was some dude that was dueling Jaden at some point used this card called Singularity Fiend, which is the level 1 fiend effect monster with zero attack, zero defense. And this card actually kind of surprised me. So, it says... It's a hard one's return, but when your opponent special summons a monster or monsters, you can discard this card and one spell card, destroy those monsters. So this is effectively a card that now allows you to destroy a monster when your opponent special summons by sending a spell from your hand to your graveyard to balance out the cost. In the original anime, I think the effect was exactly identical, except it actually negated the summon itself, but we all know that would probably be way too busted in Yu-Gi-Oh! current days. But that being said, this was just really, really shocking because they actually released a new hand trap that destroys something. And, you know, if it was just a one-for-one -one destruction, it'd probably be decently playable. I think this having to discard a card, never mind a spell card, makes it a little harder to justify playing. But it's still really, really neat because the fact that it's a dark fiend type, and you guys know that we're getting, like, U-Bell stuff and a bunch of new fiend support, so maybe this could actually be irrelevant. And then... The fact that it can destroy more than one monster. So if you're staring down something that summons multiple monsters or like a pendulum summon of multiple monsters, you can actually destroy those monsters. You can also use it in response to something like a rescue rabbit, you know, those type of effects never get relevant again. The only one thing that you might want to note here is it says when your opponent special summons, you can. So this means it can actually miss timing. If the summon is on chain link two or higher, you're not going to be able to use Singularity Fiend from your hand. But I still thought this card was really, really interesting. I could definitely see it being somewhat playable in the future, maybe in a spell-based deck that doesn't really care about discarding spells and maybe Singularity Fiend Searchable or something. It was just a really, really not, like, neat effect. I know it's not necessarily good, per se, just judging it off of the card alone, but it could definitely see some marginal utility, I think, in the future. So I'm just surprised that they're printing more hand traps. It's always a welcome addition. Honestly, going first in Yu-Gi-Oh! so broken, so I'm glad that they're doing that. And then the other card was Ancient Gear Statue. This is actually really, really interesting. It's a level 2 Earth Machine effect monster. If you guys don't know, we're actually getting a lot of new Ancient Gear support for the deck in the upcoming Legacy of Destruction uh, booster pack. And they're actually decent, but this card actually just brings them to another level. I think this was used by Crowler in the actual anime. It says you can only special summon with the first effect of this card's name once per turn, and you can only use the second effect once per turn. If your opponent controls more monsters than you, you can special summon this card from your hand. So it becomes like a Cyber Dragon that doesn't necessarily require you to control no monsters. You can do it as long as they control more. It's like Tanker Tops. And then the Ignition effect on the field is you can tribute this card, special summon one Ancient Gear Golem, or one monster that mentions it except Ancient Gear Statue from your hand or deck, ignoring the summoning condition. So you can actually summon any monster that mentions Ancient Gear Golem or summons it directly from the deck. It becomes a Lone Fire Blossom, which is really, really nutty. And the fact that this is also a 500 attack monster allowing you to use machine duplication with it just makes it a lot better, to be honest. So... I honestly want to make Ancient Gear good. Like, I've been wanting to play that deck since I was a kid. They seem to have all these weird effects. Like, they're OTKing, but not really OTKing. They're fusion summoning, but not really fusion summoning. And they're tribute summoning and doing all this weird stuff, but not really accomplishing what they want to do. So, I, I can't wait to get this card, because I do want to try it out. I think this is one of the easiest ways to actually cheat out Ancient Gear Golem, or any card that does mention it. So, I, I'm really stoked for this card. I think this is a really, really powerful addition to Ancient Gear. Moving on is Sophus. This is actually a card, I believe, for the Red Archfiend Dragon support for Jack Atlas. It says, equipped only to your Dragon Synchro Monster. It's an equipped spell. Uh, Red Dragon Archfiend equipped with this card is unaffected by your opponent's activated effects. Interesting. Once per turn, you can change the attack of all face-up monsters your opponent controls to the equipped monsters. Okay, so it would match like a 3k. That's interesting. Once per turn, when an attack is declared involving the equipped monster, you can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, banish it, and if you do, the equipped monster gains attack equal to the banished monsters until the end of this turn. Not sure how good this one is. It's not even searchable, right? Because it's a soul card. I mean, is there any way to search that, maybe? I can't remember if those um, 
the little Synchron Fiend dudes actually search for Soul Card. But changing the attack of all face of monsters your opponent controls to the equipped monsters, there must be some sort of interaction with the deck. I'm not super familiar with that deck, so guys, can you let me know in the comments if this card is good or bad? From me reading it right now, it doesn't seem that great, but perhaps there's some kind of super combo with the deck that I'm just not aware about because I just never played that deck, period. So I'm not really sure what the cards do beyond like Red Dragon Archfiend and like one or two of the uh, different retrains that he has. So guys, let me know if this card is good or not because I honestly don't know. And then last but not least, Antidote Nurse. This is apparently an Xyz monster. I'm not really sure why it's an effect monster here, but you know, whatever. Pretend it was a black Xyz card. Rank 3 Light Machine requires two or more level 3 monsters with a whopping 1800 attack. Not too shabby for uh, XYZ rank 3, to be honest. Quick effect, you can detach one material from this card, then target one monster whose attack and or defense is different from its original value. The attack and defense become its original attack and defense, and then if you target a monster you control that activation, it cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects this turn. Seems kind of outdated. I mean, the nice thing is you can actually use this in the damage step because it does modify the attack and defense values. So you can actually fire this off in the damage step and protect something from being destroyed by battle or card effects. Kind of nice. Uh, it's kind of like Mech Kip Engineer, I guess, but it also could have some interactions if there's some kind of boosting effects in the metagame, perhaps against like Trident Dragon when they have like the Sangin Brimming Manor that boosts it. I don't know. Uh, once per turn, if another monster special summoned to your field and this card has three more materials, you can make that monster gain 900 attack. Um, okay, it seems kind of bad. I think this is also used in the anime. Maybe there's a use case for this card, guys. Let me in the comments. From what I've seen so far, I think Antidote Nurse and Sophis seems to be quite awful, but Ancient Gear Statue is a very, very welcome addition for Ancient Gears. And Singularity Fiend, I think, is a really, really interesting, neat type of card. I know it's not necessarily playable right off the bat, but I could definitely see it being somewhat playable in the right deck because of its typing as well as the fact that it can destroy a more than one monster. So, guys, what do you think? I want to make this really quick to go over these cards because I thought they were kind of interesting, but I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know. And other than that, I'll see you guys next video. Do you guys think these cards are good? I'm excited to see more spoilers from Animation Chronicle. I definitely love these sets, being able to actually bring life to cards that have been anime only. So, yeah, other than that, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Bye-bye.